In this lesson, you'll learn how to fly straight and level, which sounds easy enough. The secret is configuring the aircraft to fly hands-off at different speeds. I'll teach you how to do that, and by the time we're done, you'll be superb. At least that's the plan. Okay, you have control. Go ahead and push the throttle all the way forward so we speed up. Good. See how the nose wants to rise as the aircraft gains speed. Push forward on the stick to keep the nose down so you maintain 1,000 feet. Here's the secret. You can use trim to relieve that forward stick pressure. Slowly trim the nose down so you can maintain 1,000 feet without having to push the stick. The trim control sets the elevator position of the aircraft to maintain the desired pitch for a particular speed. Good. The aircraft practically flies itself when configured properly. With the aircraft properly trimmed, you can fly at any airspeed completely hands-off. Remember, you trim for specific airspeeds. If you slow down or speed up, you'll need to re-trim. Try slowing down now. Pull the throttle control back to maintain 2100 RPM. Good. See how the nose wants to drop as the aircraft slows down. Use the stick to hold the nose up, then trim to relieve the pressure. Keep adjusting the trim until the aircraft flies level at 1,000 feet and 90 miles per hour. You're a little low. Gently pull the stick back to raise the nose and climb to 1,000 feet. Set the throttle to maintain 2100 RPM. You need to reach a constant speed to trim. Good. Keep trimming up until the airspeed settles and the nose stays where you want it. Great job. So now you know the secret to flying straight and level. Use trim to help maintain your desired altitude at any airspeed. Professional pilots always trim, because a trimmed aircraft is much easier to fly. Then we can just relax, and we're not fighting the aircraft. 